All right, so welcome from India. I'm here actually, and I want to introduce you with a very honored guest in my life, someone that I love and respect so much, uh, which is my own father. So here's my dad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was telling him about this radical resourcefulness course, and I just wanted to introduce you to him as someone who's shaped my life so much, and just ask him a couple questions so you can enjoy something about uh, what, what he's taught me as well. So uh, the first question I had, Dad, you've heard about the Radical Resourcefulness course, but it, we talked about re resourcefulness and resourcefulness. So if you think about what is a moment in your life when you felt connected to a source or God, what's one of the first moments that comes to you or something you think about? You know, it's a, probably a very simple experience in a lot of ways, but um, early in my life, uh, when I was about uh, 19, I was in the Navy, and I had been confronted with a couple of different choices about religion, two different churches, two different religions, and uh, I had just joined one and had uh, been introduced to the other one, the LDS religion, as you know. And uh, I decided that uh, it was getting confusing. I didn't know what I believed. And so I decided that, first of all, I decided if I even believed in God. And so my first quest was really just to find out if he was there. And my reasoning was simple. I, I thought, I'm going to ask him. If he's there, he'll tell me. If he's not, uh, you know, then he won't tell me. Or if he doesn't want me to know, then he won't. And it doesn't matter. And so I began with a very simple prayer. God, are you there? If so, I want to know you. I want to become... I want to understand. So I just asked that prayer. And I don't remember any particular lights or revelations or anything like that. But one day I just knew that he lived. I knew it as well as I knew that I lived. And I knew that uh, he wanted me to know him and to uh, live in a way that would make it possible for him to turn back to his presence. And so I, that particular faith has given me a great deal of strength in uh, everything else I've done in life. Beautiful. Well, what would you say, thank you so much for sharing that. I'm so glad I'm videoing this. <laughs> What, what would you say helps connect you with Source so that you can become more resourceful? So when you think about resourcefulness, what is it that helps keep you connected or keep you connected with God or with Source? Well, um, certainly one's relationship with God has to be renewed on a daily basis. Uh, and, and you have to... Uh, you have to connect with Him in prayer on a daily basis. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a working faith that uh, becomes a part of you. It, I remember when I first uh, came in contact with the church, uh, someone told me that, uh, you know, this would be, your life would revolve around it. And I first thought, yeah, okay. I don't want that much religion. <laughs> but I discovered that uh, it's enriching, it's uh, enlivening, it's uplifting and strengthening. and. Uh, and uh, it gives purpose beyond uh, the ordinary everyday living and so that when things go wrong as certainly they have in my life or things go differently than I had hoped it's given me that inner strength to keep going and as you know raising eight children sometimes without steady employment was, uh, was a major challenge for me but uh, having that faith uh, it, it worked and, and, uh, and uh, so we were able to raise a wonderful family and uh, put her very much apart. And, um, and I attribute that entirely to uh, the Lord's help and assistance. Uh, beautiful. Thanks so much. So uh, even the reason why my dad is here has to do with resourcefulness and resourcefulness. So I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But I'm just so grateful to be here with him. Grateful to share him and his insight with you. And I know a lot of people in this course are participating from lots of different faiths, lots of different, or no faith, or lots of different backgrounds, but really at the core wanting to feel that connection with what is the best part that's inside of you. So I'm so happy that my dad was able to share his thoughts, his experience from his heart, and I'll look forward to sharing this next little bit with you in a second. Hey, this is Dr. Clint Rogers here in Mumbai, India. And I wanted to share something a little more personal with you about radical resourcefulness and a success story that I feel uh, is close to my heart. So, um, so we've talked a lot about radical resourcefulness and resourcefulness. This week, the topic is about facing mortality and learning through that process how to live a life worth living. Well, my dad, who you just heard from just earlier, he was facing his own 
impossible situation. He called me to his office and told me he didn't know how much longer he was going to live. He talked about has seen four different specialists being on 12 medications, depression high, diabetes high, cholesterol high, just doctors didn't know what to do. They're giving him more and more drugs, seeing less and less results. And I felt kind of lost. It was actually because I had met Gary Malkin and done something called 10 Days to Touch 10 Million that I had met someone named Dr. Pankaj Naram that then I was able to help in certain ways so that he helped my dad. And it, the, the chain of events, how everything worked out, the radical resourcefulness just proved to me so clearly that it's not ever about how many resources you have, but it's always about how resourceful you are. And not how resourceful you are, we talk a lot about, you know, what do you want versus what wants to come through you. But when you have that intention of what that desire is, then if you are resourceful and connected with source, lots of times ideas or plans or you meet people you weren't expecting to. So my questions for you are two is, as this course is ending, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that fuels you? For me, it was helping my dad and that helped me meet people and find ideas and find resources I would have never done before. Now he's doing way better, 20 times more energy off of all of his medications except for two. He says he, could, he feels like he could live 20 years. It was just his birthday the other day. And you saw it in his face, the glow, the light. So that's what fuels me. What fuels you? And second of all, to be open, you know, when we were doing 10 Days to Touch 10 Million, as Gary remembers, we were successful, but it wasn't as successful as I wanted it to be. And so in some ways you can start to think, wow, maybe that was a failure. But the reality is, through 10 Days to Touch 10 Million, actually Gary met Jen, who he fell in love with, the love of his life. I was able to find a resource that helped my dad more than any amount of money could have ever done. And more and more is coming from that. So what is it that fuels you? What is it that you want to do now with this short amount of life that we have? And then not getting discouraged when the first obstacles come or the first hiccups come in the plan. Realizing that it's not about you, but it's about what wants to come through you. So this is Dr. Clint Rogers with Wisdom of the World, Radical Resourcefulness course. Just reminding you again, it's never about the amount of resources you have, but it's always about how resourceful you are. Thank you.